Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Dear everyone, at the end of the trading session, XRP had fallen 2.87%, and the session ended at $0.51,006. Investors' concerns about a potential court decision in the SEC versus Ripple dispute had an impact on the level of interest among buyers in purchasing XRP, among other things. The headlines surrounding the SEC vs. Ripple litigation, U.S. labor market data, and the Federal Reserve meeting that happened on May 1 are all crucial considerations. The value of XRP fell 2.87%. With a decline of 20.51% from the previous day, Monday, April 29, the price of XRP ended the month of April at 0.5106. On Tuesday, April 30, it had advanced one point. The latest developments in the litigation between the SEC and Ripple have garnered a great deal of attention. In response to the expert testimony and accompanying exhibits included in Ripple's motion to strike, the Securities and Exchange Commission has submitted its opposition brief. The purpose of this brief is to determine if accountant Andre Fox, who works for the SEC Enforcement Division, was expert or summary witness. The onus for reaching this verdict is on Judge Taranet Byrne. Furthermore, Judge Net Byrne must ascertain if the evidence she presents and the supplementary materials she uses constitute fresh expert testimony or merely restatements of previously offered information. If the judge grants the move to strike, the court will dismiss the substance of the SEC's opening brief that relates to accounts opened after the complaint was filed. This coming Friday Relido has until May 2 to file its brief in response to the other sites. The Securities and Exchange Commission is required to submit a reply brief on May 6, in addition to the documents associated with the motion to strike, if the outcome is favorable to Ripple. This could affect the SEC's efforts to pursue punitive discouragement and an injunction. After every short regarding the remedy has been completed, the last step is to file the reply brief. Ripple submitted its counterbrief on April 22, despite the SEC having submitted its opening brief in March. March was the submission date for both documents. Until a court decides on the consequences for Ripple's breach of U.S. securities laws, Ripple and XRP are presently in limbo. There will be no chance for investors to participate in the trial because this decision is expected to be made soon. If the SEC decides to appeal the decision regarding XRP programmatic sales, it might be quite soon. I would not be surprised if the lawsuit drags on until 2025. In July 2023, the judge and Melissa Torres reached a decision. Selling XRP through a program does not even come close to meeting the third criterion of the Howey test. Another obstacle for XRP is the possibility that the SEC will appeal the decision on the program that acts sales. This is just one more reason why the Ripple case is likely to see increased litigation between the SEC and Coinbase. And now the SEC is getting ready to have its discussion. On behalf of 4,701 Coinbase customers, crypto legal pioneer and U.S. Senate candidate Johnny Deaton has filed an amicus curiae brief. On Friday, April 26, this brief was handed in. Concerning Coinbase's appeal against the dismissal decision, the company has filed an interlocutory appeal. Coinbase likely filed the move during the March court session, and the amicus curiae brief provides support for that motion. Judge Catherine Fila denied the defendant's request to dismiss the accusations of running an unlicensed stock exchange. References to the SEC v. Ripple case and the SEC's argument to file an interlocutory appeal against the decision on XRP programmatic sales were made in the preliminary statement. This statement made use of both of these sources. Everyone in the Bitcoin business, including Coinbase American consumers, is in dire need of some clear legal guidance. The majority of individuals, including the SEC in the Ripple case, concur with this assertion. An interlocutory appeal is emphasized in the regulations of the Securities and Exchange Commission due to substantial reasons for difference of opinion. It was in October that the SEC sought to initiate an interlocutory appeal against the XRP programmatic sales verdict. The result of the disagreement between Coinbase and the Securities and Exchange Commission might have far-reaching consequences, but Alyssa Torres declined, therefore the SEC is being asked to do the right thing. 
regarding the Indian digital asset industry. If Coinbase is successful, it might be the end for the SEC's control over regulation and enforcement, which would be a huge improvement. With your help, we can stop the SEC from trying to overturn the decision to distribute XRP through programmatic sales, which is a crucial support level located around the $50 mark. Mark has been consistently supported by XRP for the past few trading sessions, showcasing the cryptocurrency's remarkable tenacity. Despite the negative impacts, it is important to remember that this level is quite weighty and provides a strong barrier to the possibility of XRP's value declining. The cryptocurrency has shown a tendency to stay close to this crucial level. Regardless, this seems to be adding fuel to the fire of the ongoing tug of war between market bulls and bears. When presented with obstacles, it's not uncommon for XRP to flirt with breaking over the $50 support level, but then it promptly returns to where it was. This has happened more than once. This shows that there is a lot of power struggle going on in the market right now. With that kind of strength, now you can see how crucial this psychological and technical level is, it has historically served as the catalyst for major price reversals. There has a history of price reversals beginning at this level. Persistent support over $50 could provide investors the confidence they need, which could lead to more gains. In light of the recent uptick in purchasing activity, this is something to have in mind going forward. On this gigantic scale, additional evidence supports a bullish reversal. This is predicated on the idea that XRP can maintain its present value. Contrarily, XRP will face significant obstacles down the road. As it moves past possible obstacles, especially at the $0.53. In order to prove its metal, the cryptocurrency will have to overcome this level, which will be yet another formidable obstacle. More price increases may be possible as a result of this. Bypassing this level would be a major accomplishment. The 0.50 support level must be preserved. However, XRP can be in a position where it is vulnerable to downside threats, with the subsequent major support zone situated around $47. Nonetheless, purchasers may see this support level as a strategic rallying point, and XRP's value may experience another leap upwards from there. Despite the risk of failure, this warrants consideration. Whatever was said before is still true now. Trading in the negative zone is still an ongoing process for many Bitcoin projects. Despite XRP's apparent downward trajectory according to chart analysis, it remains one of the most significant projects now available on the market. An announcement for XRP suggested that, according to AI algorithms, it might soon fall to the $50 mark. Additionally, word broke that Ripple would launch a stable coin to compete with Circle, the creator of Tether SD Coin USD, as well as a new strategic alliance with Hashkey DX and Japan. In spite of these promising developments, XRP's value has surged by over 20%. All the way back to January. Well, that concludes our video. Like and subscribe as usual, and feel free to leave a comment with your opinions. Coming up shortly, farewell.